Vladimir Putin's inner circle is continuing to feel the pain of Russia's war on Ukraine, but British officials seized a private jet that reportedly belongs to a Russian oligarch. It looks like this one. It's called a Bombardier Global 6500. It can carry up to 17 passengers and reach close to supersonic speeds. British officials impounded the jet after the government made it illegal for Russian-owned or Russian-chartered planes to enter U.K. airspace. The jet's reportedly linked to a Russian oil tycoon. According to Forbes reporting, he's estimated to be worth $1.7 billion. Other Russian oligarchs are quickly selling or hiding their assets before authorities can confiscate them. With what happens to those private jets and luxury mega-sized yachts seized, here's CNBC's Robert Frank. Italian authorities freezing over $150 million worth of yachts and villas this past week. They included yachts reportedly owned by Gennady Timchenko and Alexei Mordashov and a $19 million compound in Sardinia owned by Alisher Usmanov. Forbes reporting that the 96-person crew of Usmanov's yacht have been fired via an email from the crew's employer, which says, quote, normal operations of the yacht have ceased. Other oligarchs racing to sell assets before they are sanctioned or seized. Roman Abramovich soliciting bids for Chelsea Football Club, as well as his London mansion and other U.K. properties. Sanctioned billionaire Oleg Deripaska hiring bankers to split his aluminum company into two parts to try to protect the non-Russian operations. Now, as for all these yachts, jets and villas already seized, the question now, what to do with all of it? Now, with an asset freeze, the owners remain the legal owners, but they are prevented from using or transferring the assets until the sanctions are lifted. The owners are still responsible for paying all the yacht crews and the house staff, but the sanctions and all this swift blocking may make it difficult for the governments to actually ensure payment. So the governments may end up paying some of these bills, which for a super yacht can be six or seven figures a month. Now, governments can only actually take title or ownership of an asset if the oligarch is charged with a specific crime, let's say money laundering or corruption, and the yacht or home has to be tied directly to the crime itself. That can take years to wind its way through the courts, especially with these oligarchs who are experts at masking their true ownership through shell companies and LLCs. Now, if anything is sold, the proceeds usually go to law enforcement. But a new bill in Congress called the Yachts for Ukraine Act would actually send the cash from any oligarch assets to send directly to Ukraine for humanitarian aid. Shep?